you see the issue of a double cut, you'll want to make sure that you check your artwork for double lines as well as when you're saving out something to be sure that your presets on your transparencies are have the correct uh, setting on them so that during the save out process you're not creating a double line by outlining your lines. I'll show you how that happens here. This happens a lot when you're saving out something as an EPS. Right here in your presets, most of the time this will be set at uh, medium resolution. I always like to use a high resolution because that way I know that my raster images or any raster effects that I have such as drop shadows actually keep a resolution of above 300. So I'm going to click the custom button and I'm going to make sure that both convert all text to outlines and convert all strokes to outlines is not selected. Again, in the preset of medium resolution, if you go to custom, you will see that it automatically converts all of your strokes to outlines, and that is why you are getting that double cut. So if you want to use a medium resolution preset, then uh, please make sure that you are clicking off the convert all stroke to outlines and that will prevent you from having a double cut. What it looks like for a double cut, so right now I will outline my stroke. I will take my view to outlines and you will see that that is a double cut. That's what that preset does when it's asking you or it's automatically going to outline your strokes. That's where you get the double cut. So you want to make sure that your artwork cut line is just one line and you'll be sure to not have the problems of a double cut. The Cut Edit tab is also going to be where you find your print and cut origin adjustments. So what this does, I'll show you real quick, we're going to hit print and cut origin adjust. What you see comes up is that it's going to send a job over to print and it's going to output a test pattern of the print and cut origin adjust. So when the pink uh, print and cut area is done, then you tear off the pattern and then you input adjustment values to your printer. And what this does is it allows you to really dial in your cutting and making sure that all of your cuts are accurate. Again, you will want to add a registration mark. You can also add a label if you want to. Adding a label is important because each one of these adjustments will need to be done for each resolution on your machine.
So the printer will print out that pattern for our adjustment. It will read your crop marks and then begin to cut the pattern out. So once the pattern is cut out, it will feed that pattern forward a little bit for you to weed out the part that was cut. As you see here, I'm going to remove the area that is got the pink squares from both the top and the bottom line. And you will want to look closely at your patterns to see which one accurately cut out the best and note those numbers so that you can put it in the TP offset settings. make sure that you're checking to make sure you're putting in the correct settings for your X and your Y depending on what your result was in your pattern when you uh, weeded them out. So the first thing you will want to do is make sure that you have put your material back into the machine the way that it came out of the machine and making sure that it is in as straight as possible. I like to use the edge of that plot to make sure that it's straight. Put your material holders back in. Make sure you go over to the area where it says test cut and then come down to mark detection. That will go and get your cutting unit and bring it back and when it does you will see the red laser indication light.
When you see the red indication light, you will want to move your material with the keypad over to the first crop mark. Now you'll want to think of that crop mark as a square and you're going to put that red indication light in the middle of the square. And then you will push enter on the control panel and the machine will read that crop mark at that time. If it did not read it, then the machine will error out this, at this point. If it did read it correctly, we'll do this here, which is going to park itself, and then you will go back, hitting the select button, and go back into the remote mode. Then you will go back to the job that you printed making sure to use the drop down to cut only and push start. After adjusting the pinch rollers for your pinch roller setting for your cut, it will once again start reading your crop marks. and then it will begin cutting.